this week's video, I'm going to go through what Elizabeth May's vision for Canada is. Her platform has some pretty lofty goals, and I'll admit, by the time I was done reading it, I had a whopping headache and had said, what the duck, more times than I could count. The entire platform can be viewed at greenparty.ca, and the website is really easy to navigate, but none of their platform would be easy to implement. In fact, I had a lot of questions for Elizabeth May by the time I was done reading. The only parts I agree with on the platform is where May would like for there to be more unity in the House of Commons. You know, where all these different political parties put all their ideas together in this melting pot and somehow work together. But we all know that is never going to happen. But that's where my agreeing with Elizabeth May ends. And I guarantee by the time I'm done going through all this, you're going to have your wallets in a death grip. Her plan is expensive, very, very expensive, and no real solutions as to how all these things that she wants to do will be paid for. Now, when the Greens say affordability for all, I'm wondering who they're referring to because nothing in this platform would make my life more affordable. If anything, this platform would make my life very difficult considering that she wants an entire end to our energy sector lock, stock, and barrel. Before I go too deep into May's plans to kill the industry that feeds my family, I wanted to look at things like education and healthcare, you know, to ease my way into the platform. Pharmacare is a major issue in this election and the Greens would bulk purchase, dispense and heavily regulate the distribution of prescription drugs. They would also build more safe injection sites. As for education, tuition would be a thing of the past and a debt cancellation program for student debt over $10,000 would be put in place. The Greens would also eliminate the Canadian Student Loans Program Income Assessment. Now, if you're looking to get into the trades and you want to start an apprenticeship, it had better be in the green economy because those will be the only trades jobs available if the greens have their way. Okay, now it's time to get into the nitty gritty or as I like to call it, the green terror because May has a plan to launch meaningful action to avoid climate catastrophe. Unfortunately for her plan to work, it will mean that us oil and gas families will end up living in a van down by the river. Essentially, all oil and gas development would be stopped and gone. And we would also have to reduce our emissions by 60% by the year 2030 and zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Worried about your car's emissions? Well, don't be, because those gas and diesel powered vehicles would become outlawed within 10 years, meaning that we would all have to walk, take the bus, or buy one of those super expensive and unreliable in our climate electric cars. They're even promising to bring buses into rural remote areas. Well, how does your house fit into this platform? Well, I guarantee you right now as it sits, it doesn't. Because by 2030, you would have to completely retrofit every little detail of your home to be energy efficient, just to be Green Party approved. Coal-fired electricity would be a thing of the past and that carbon tax will skyrocket. As for us oil and gas families, well, we'd be up the creek without a paddle. Elizabeth May has zero issues telling the world that we need to be phased out. And if you're one of the unlucky Canadian energy workers, don't worry because Elizabeth May has a plan to retrain you to go and work in one of her green initiatives. Now, I don't know, maybe her and Trudeau are working together at some sort of paper water box sort of facility. As for the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion, it would be cancelled, completely cancelled, not sold, no way of recouping that $4.5 billion, it would just be gone. Throughout this entire platform, there is zero mention of how these new green initiatives would be paid for. But what I found really alarming is that May is willing to take 4.5 billion Trans Mountain expansion dollars and just throw them away as if they're nothing. Canadians like to see where our dollars will end up and we're getting really tired of seeing them get thrown everywhere except for back at our pockets. But don't worry, Elizabeth May swears she wants to protect Canadian energy workers. Unfortunately, her way of protecting us is to leave us out of work and starving for cash. But hey, at least we'll have free dental.